Hello everybody! In this video I'm going to show you how you can protect your portals. In order to best protect your portals you kind of need to understand a bit about how the portal attracts attention from monsters. So I've constructed these four different scenarios to show you how it works. Believe it or not you can actually protect a portal even from a seeker soldier which is our test monster with wood. Uh, the main thing to take away from this video is the line of sight of the portal. First, let's see what happens when a regular monster finds a portal. There you go, he does the roar, and that roar means he's found a target. And we got lucky there, he just destroyed the portal with his AoE attack. Tons of damage, right? This is basically the most brutal base destroyer. As you can see, this one is reinforced. It's got black marble, so it'll be harder to destroy. However, he can still see it, right? So even though he can't see it from where he is, it does provide some protection, right? He hasn't noticed it yet. He's attacking. It looks like he's finally noticed the portal. Oh yeah, right, right into it. So when he was on this side, he couldn't see the portal, so he stopped attacking it, or he wasn't attacking it, right? his LOS, or line of sight, from the portal was blocked. But now, as you can see, he saw the portal, and once he saw it, he went to destroy it. So, the next level of protection is the same thing, except the portal's just a little bit deeper. So you can see this is one row of blocks, this is two rows of blocks, and that's the only difference. So you can still see the portal, right? If he goes over here to this point, he can see the portal. However, it's still more protected than this one, because here, he could see the portal all the way from here, right? It's a really wide range that he can easily wander into. See what goes down, because I think they communicate together, so when these ones see something, it'll alert all the nearby seekers. And it looks like he has seen the portal, right? Yeah, and he's trying to get into it. He's destroying the stuff. Here. Oh, yeah, he just busted through. Ah, there you go. Maybe he does alert the enemies, actually. Yeah, the secret soldier's here, and oh, wrecked. Eventually, things aren't safe. Even if they're in black marble, they're not safe unless they're completely blocked out of line of sight. And this is so true that you can actually even use really weak stuff like wood and you see all these enemies, right? But I can just go through here and the portal's right here. No doors or anything. The enemies don't really ever attack if they can't see it. However, the, tr the same can't be said for Zhao. So, because of how strong the Jal attacks are and the Seeker Soldier attacks, as you just noticed, it's really not practical <laughs> to use wood because, as you'll see in a moment, they just totally wreck anything that is wooden. The Seeker Soldiers will just totally demolish wood, especially the moment they use their AoE attack. They're just going to destroy everything. You see that? That'll destroy all wooden objects. So if they use that once, you're just screwed. That's why you can use wood to protect portals, but you, you really have to be careful, because if you fight near it, then it won't be long before all of your hard work is in vain. As you can tell, at least the other structures we had still have some remains, right? Whereas the wooden one, totally cleared. Uh-oh. That looks bad. Ah! Well, we've made a proper mess, haven't we? But now you understand how you can better protect your portals. Really, all you need is a, a tunnel that blocks line of sight. You can use doors and that kind of thing to block line of sight. But keep in mind that enemies have AoE attacks. So they might attack something and then accidentally hurt the portal. So not only do you need to block line of sight, but you also need to keep enough distance so that the AoE attacks from the Zhao and the Seeker um, won't actually destroy your portal. 
And you can do that by keeping them kind of in really long tunnels. And if you want to, you can put up a little barrier, as you saw earlier, that kind of blocks the line of sight. That way you can get in and out without having to have a door. And it's just kind of a cool way to deal with it. If you like this video and you want to learn anything else, then check out my other Valheim videos. There's new Valheim videos on this channel every three days, published at 10 a.m. Nicaraguan time. And if you're interested in supporting my work or any more videos, then please consider renting a dedicated server using my tutorial. I have a tutorial, which you can see now on the screen, that shows you exactly how to set up a dedicated server. A dedicated server is a great way to play Valheim because it means that your friends can join the server and play and build stuff even while you're out doing something else. So a dedicated server just allows you to play the game in different ways because you can make custom dungeons, you can add a whole, whole host of new interesting features and all sorts of other experiments. It's a really great way to play Valheim. So if you want to do that, check it out. And as always, have a great day. Bye.